I was recently in Japan. One of my favorites, probably the best I've tried. I freaking love. I woke up really early today and I'm just going to go back to sleep so I thought I will get ready and go out for some breakfast There is this bakery that I've been wanting to try and it's in North Melbourne I've heard so many good things about it but I've just never tried so I'm really excited to go I love trying new breakfast places busy so I decided to just come back and eat in the car oh my goodness I didn't expect the pastries to be so good I think this is probably the best if not one of the best pastries I've ever had in my life I had the chili cheese pastry that was so yummy and the Reuben croissant was also delicious and I just tried the cookie as well perfect amount of sweet and saltiness and the texture of the cookie is just perfect I can't believe I've never tried out this place before Go to somewhere that has so <laughs> <laughs> so It is Sunday today and we are on our way to Yarra Valley for lunch. We've never been to this place before so I'm very excited.
Hello everyone! If you've been following my Instagram, you might know that I was recently in Japan. I had so much fun. I didn't vlog the trip, unfortunately, but I did a lot of shopping, which I wanted to share with you guys. I was originally going to share everything, but um, I decided to just consolidate and share with you guys the things that I really loved because if I share everything, this video will never finish. So I'll be sharing mostly beauty stuff from drugstore and department store. For drugstore in Japan, I recommend going to places like Big Camera and Matsumoto because they offer an extra 5 or 7% discount on top of the 10% tax refund you already get. And then if you can't find what you're looking for, then I recommend going to Cosme in Harajuku. It's got everything that you would want, but they don't offer extra discounts. So yeah, um, the first thing I want to share is these concealers by Cannibal. These are, they call serum concealers because they have skincare benefits and it's very moisturizing. And this concealer actually won first place in Cosme Best Cosmetic Award 2023 Middle Price category. When I tried them, I was really surprised at how spreadable and moisturizing they were. They don't crease and I would say it's medium coverage. I got it in number four pale green and number two neutral beige. I've really, really enjoyed them. They're probably the best concealers I've tried so far. The second item I want to share with you guys is this mascara by Majolica Majorca. This is their Lash Expander Dolly Curl Mascara and it's kind of similar to the one that I've shared before from Kingdom. So Japanese girls are really into clean, natural, separated lashes. The Kingdom one is almost too natural, like the color is not exactly black, it's more like a gray, whereas this one gives a little bit more presence to your lashes. So I really like this one. Up next, I have this heated lash curler by Panasonic. If you have really straight, fine Asian lashes, I highly recommend this one. So you would still use your regular lash curler and apply mascara and then you use this one after your mascara has dried. You leave it on the base of your lashes for three seconds then the tip of your lashes for three seconds and it helps to hold your lashes up for longer. I really really like this one. And next I have the Tear Tear Glow Tint. Everyone always talks about the viral Tear Tear Cushion Foundation but I haven't heard as many people talk about this one. This is by far one of the best lip products that I've ever bought. When you apply it, it's very pigmented and glossy, but it stays on your lips forever. When you wipe it off, your lips will still be tinted and I think it's just really beautiful. Okay, next up, I have the Fujiko Pom Pom Powder. This is basically dry shampoo. Again, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, probably one of my favorites that I've ever used. I've used a lot of dry shampoo in the past and they either smell really bad or they leave the hair a bit sticky and it just doesn't feel nice. But this one doesn't do that. It doesn't feel like there's anything in your hair. There's a little puff on the top and you basically just powder your hair where you want to get rid of the oil. It does leave some white color so you really have to rub it in and then you won't be able to tell. This just lasts for the whole day which never happens to me so really recommend this one. Okay, the next one is not really a beauty product, but it works like magic. This is a stain remover wipes by Kobayashi, and each packet comes with four wipes, two for juice or blood, and then the other two you can use for oily stuff like barbecue or meat. And of course, eating in Japan, we did spill some stuff on our white clothes and we tried this on the spot, removed instantly. It was amazing. I'm keeping this in my bag all the time now. Next, I want to talk about the beauty products that you get from department store. For department store shopping, I recommend going to Isetan in Shinjuku. They offer an extra 5% discount again on top of your 10% tax refund. 
that includes your beauty stuff, jewelry, even your luxury goods, excluding certain brands like Chanel. I've briefly talked about this brand before, but I wanted to introduce this brand to you guys again. So this is Shiro. This is a very popular beauty brand in Japan that are lesser known to tourists. It's a clean beauty brand originated from Hokkaido. They are known for using very simple natural ingredients that are suitable to use even during pregnancy. So the first one I got is this Kombu Serum. Kombu is basically kelp. It does not have any artificial fragrance. When you apply it on your face, it actually smells like seaweed, which I don't mind. I hate the smell of artificial fragrance in skincare, so I really like that. I also really like how small the ingredient list is. On the website, it says Kombu has high water retaining properties that protect the skin against dehydration. So this is basically a moisturizing serum. The texture is very watery, but moisturizing without being tacky. So you apply this on clean face without any products and then you're just going with moisturizer and sunscreen. And I find that this is moisturizing enough for me to use now during winter in Melbourne. So yes. Next one I wanna share with you guys, I freaking love. This is the Neem Scalp Serum by Shiro. It smells, it reminds me of the classic Aesop scent. You use this after you wash your hair before you dry your hair. I've had a lot of issues with my scalp being really itchy, red, and it also gets really oily. So on the website, it says the serum moisturizes the skin and hair and also helps with the damage of the scalp caused by dryness, itchiness, coloring, and perms. It just feels so calming. And I haven't washed my hair for three days now. I'm someone that usually needs to wash my hair at least every second day. And I feel like this serum has definitely helped. Okay, we're almost done. The last brand that I want to share is Shu Umura, which you guys are probably familiar with. I saw someone recommend this online and I decided to go try it out. The first time I applied it on my skin, I can't really describe how soft and smooth it feels. The powder is so, so fine. My friend who went with me, she wasn't going to buy this, but after she tried it, she got one as well. It just smooths and set your makeup really well. I love the packaging as well. I love the little puff that they give you. It's just, it's amazing. So this is the last product I want to share with you guys. This is a new product Shu Umura came out with. It's also a glowy lip tint, similar to the TT one that I just shared before. This one I find is not as pigmented and not as glossy. So this is for me more of a everyday wear. This color is the perfect my lips but better color on me. I got it in the shade 936 and it's what I'm wearing right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this Japan haul slash review. Let me know if there is anything that you want to try or have already tried and love. Mm -hmm.